Good morning. We're making an easy ground beef recipe, and this recipe is actually found in our Easy Meals Healthy Family booklet. And if you weren't able to pick up a booklet at our event in January, it's available online at MeyerMealbox.com. It has over 180 recipes, and there's 10 eats for ground beef oh, recipes. Nice. So this is one of those, and it's Asian Salisbury steak. And we have a guest chef with us this morning, Roby Forey. Happy Good to, be to here. have you. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Uh, we have a cow-calf operation out in Henry County, raising primarily uh, beef cattle and Angus cattle. Nice. And uh, and you've been, your family operation has been going for eight generations, is that right? You yes, ma'am. I'm the eighth generation. And that's pretty cool to have that over 100 years of history going into the farm. So yes. Salisbury steak, do you do many ground beef recipes at home? Probably. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Is, is kind of a traditional thing that you see out there, but this is definitely not traditional. We've got uh, more of an Asian flair to it because the traditional Salisbury steak has got like kind of a gravy on it. So we're using a lighter version of it. So using some lean ground beef, right? Yes, yeah, so we're using, actually this is certified Angus beef uh, lean ground sirloin, so a 90-10. So great for using this with a steak. And then Roby, if you want to add our ingredients for us. Okay, we have uh, chopped green onions here and red bell peppers and bread crumbs. What I like about this is you're going to add some of these binders in it so you can actually uh, kind of add a leaner ground beef if you wanted to. Absolutely and we have a uh, hoisin sauce. You can find this in the international aisle. It's kind of like an Asian barbecue sauce mm. in a way. So nice, very nice flavor. And finally, we have some ginger. And this, the ginger we're actually using is this uh, gourmet garden. It's found in the produce department. And we actually um, mentioned this before, but it's great. You can just pop it in your refrigerator or even your freezer and store it for a longer period of time and just kind of take out little squirts as you need them. And then we're just going to make them into four patties and then broil them. Right, and broiling is a lean cooking method. So you're just going to pop it in the broiler and you want it to reach 160 degrees. So it'll take about four minutes on each side. And you can see a wonderful uh, Wednesday night dinner.